Good evening everyone, if you don't know, you should know my name is Ramesh Khan and I am a filmmaker and a film critic and today's movie is a Tim Miller directed dead Do you wanna fuck? You gonna fuck? Time to make the chimmy fucking changas. Have you seen this man? I never say this, but don't swallow. Did I leave the stove on? Let's go, give it to you. Now who is Tim Miller, you might be asking. Tim Miller used to be a VFX artist. He designed the awesome intro of the girl with the dragon tattoo. He gets to direct the film Deadpool this time. What is this film about? This film is about a mercenary named Wade Wilson, a wisecracking mercenary named Wade Wilson. He has dealt with some sort of sickness and a bunch of people, a bunch of shady people tell him that they can cure him and thus he becomes Deadpool, a horribly disfigured person but with some added gifts such as immortality and the ability to regrow any of his broken limbs and skin and whatnot. I was very unexcited to see this film as the marketing kind of sold it as a fairly standard comic book film but that's not even the main reason why I was unexcited to see this film. My main problem is the character of Deadpool. Whereas he's a great character for comic books, breaking the fourth wall is an awesome trait for any character to have in a book or comic book as it is just a literary medium. In filmmaking however it's been done quite a bit and done rather excellently in the TV show House of Cards. So I failed to find the appeal of making a Deadpool film. However, I was proved wrong as I utterly enjoyed this film quite a lot. First of all, this film is a lot of fun. All the protagonists are a lot of fun to be around. Colossus makes an appearance and he's charmingly clumsy, which works really well against Deadpool's cocky demeanor. And the action is really awesome as well. Thank God that this movie was rated R. All superhero movies should be rated R in my opinion, especially the Wolverine ones. This film is very violent. It gives the director the freedom to have Deadpool have happily chop off people's heads and impale them on katanas, which is absolutely amazing. It's fresh because you don't really see that type of violence in superhero movies nowadays. You see buildings falling, you never see people getting hurt in superhero movies because of the PG-13 rating. None of that in Deadpool, you get to see a ton of violence and a ton of blood. Ryan Reynolds was born to play this role. His lanky frame, his quick wit and over the top cartoony reactions embody the role of Deadpool perfectly. There's this one great scene between him and Colossus right after the opening action sequence where he's punching Colossus and all his arms are breaking and his feet are broken. It was as if it was ripped out from the comic books. It's a genuinely funny scene and it's a cute scene as well. The film's problems however stem from the other human characters, the antagonist characters and Deadpool's allies as well. The comic relief character played by TJ Miller is obnoxiously unfunny and the villain is very very weak. I don't even remember the guy's name. His girlfriend Vanessa on the other hand is fantastic fantastic. The film is told in flashback and their love story is seen through a very cute and long montage. I made a video about what's wrong with superhero movies today and Deadpool fits one of those categories on how to fix superhero films as this is not necessarily a superhero film. It is a love story which has a superhero as the main character and it just goes to show the love story is actually more interesting and much more intriguing than Deadpool's origin. I honestly think they should stop making origin movies. Spider-Man 1 and Batman Begins nailed them. You don't need to see any origin like ever for any other superhero. Every kid on this planet knows who what superheroes are. Even this person. Look at that. That's sperm. That's not even born. That knows what Deadpool is. But, but as I was saying, the love story and revenge plot is much more interesting than Deadpool's origin story. It's possibly because a character like Deadpool didn't even need an origin story to begin with. But it's not that bothersome in here. As I said before, Deadpool's antics of breaking the fourth wall and his acknowledgement of what's going on in the film kind of makes it unique and fresh and separates itself from other superheroes. Films. Deadpool's a fine little film and it's a little breath of fresh air when it comes to superhero movies. It's funny, it's heartwarming and the stakes aren't massive. Deadpool doesn't have to save the world. Which is fucking refreshing if you ask me. I wouldn't say it's a game changer however because the film doesn't portray itself as a game changer. It's a neat little action film. 4 out of 5 for Deadpool. You should go see Deadpool not once but twice. What the sequel needs is more Colossus and Cable. I don't know how I feel about introducing Cable in a Deadpool film because the Deadpool and Cable 
comic book series. I would rather see an origin story of Cable. That kind of that character deserves an origin story. But we'll complain about Cable when the movie actually comes out. Thank you so much for watching, people. If you enjoyed this review, let me know in the comments below. And then hit that free subscribe button. If you wish to connect with me, follow me on Twitter and add me on Snapchat. My username is Ramiz Film Geek for both social network platforms. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, remember to love yourselves. Thank <laughs> you.